For this lesson, I'm going to cover TeamViewer, which is an all-in-one software. TeamViewer is an all-in-one software for remote control on any computer or Mac over the internet. TeamViewer is free for non-commercial users. TeamViewer allows you to remote control, desktop sharing, online meetings, web conferencing, and file transfer between computers. TeamViewer promotes online teamwork, such as collaborate online on documents in real time. TeamViewer's communication is secure. It uses RSA private and public key exchange at 2048-bit and advanced encryption standard AES 256-bit session encryption. Lastly, it's available on Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, iOS, Android, Windows RT, Windows Phone 8, and BlackBerry OS. Now then, I'll show you how to install TeamViewer on your operating system, as well as use the tools and features that it provides. OK, the first thing you want to do is go to Google and type in TeamViewer. Click on TeamViewer, free remote control, remote access. And then click on Download. This will download the Windows version. For other versions, go to Download, All Downloads. Here you have the Windows version, the Mac version, Linux version, and the mobile version for Android, iOS, Windows Phone 8, BlackBerry. Once you have it downloaded, Click on it to install it. Okay, once you have it installed, double click on it, and you should get this window. So this is what TeamViewer looks like. Here it has the allow remote control. Basically, this is your ID and your password. Your password can change to any new random one for security purposes. And so what you want to do is, if you want your friend or partner to connect with you, you give him your ID and give him your password and they'll be able to connect with you. All right. Here, if you set your personal password, this allows you to access your computer, this current computer that I'm on right now, from anywhere. And I'll show you that as well. You can do that from the internet or you can do it from a team viewer that's installed on another computer. So right here is where you enter your partner's ID in order to control the remote computer. So we will do remote control. We'll enter uh, my other computer's uh, ID, and then we'll connect to it. On this side, uh, you can create an account, and you can add the computers on there. So that way, you don't have to enter in the ID and password all the time. Uh, you can assign them into a contact for example right here add a remote computer so you can just put in the id and the password and then name it to whatever you want maybe your laptop maybe your school computer and then you can add a description but this will allow you to connect to that uh, computer uh, remotely all right let's go ahead and try to connect to my laptop all right, first, we need the partner ID. So my laptop's ID is 742-972-556. All right, I'm going to connect to it. It's asking me for the password. So if you are doing this with a friend or someone you're working on a project with, then you'll need to ask them for their password. Again, they'll see the same exact thing that we're seeing on their screen, their ID and their password. So they'll need to give you their password on their screen. So my laptop has given me the password I entered in, and now I will log on, attempt to log on. Okay, log on success, successful. So here we have it. 
on my other computer. Looks like uh, listening to some music, some anime music or something. But as you can see, we established remote access. On the top here, we have uh, some options that TeamViewer gives us, some features that you can use. You can view the quality. Just leave as auto select so that uh, the computer will decide. Here you can do the file transfer. From local computer to remote computer. All right. Now then, in that example was to show you how to connect to like a friend or someone you're working with. Let's say you wanted to connect with your your own computer. So you added your other computer into your account, like I showed you earlier. And let's say I wanted to connect from my desktop to my laptop. Since I already entered the information, I don't need to enter the ID or the password. I just simply click on it, double, double click, and now I'm in. Remember that in order to do what I just did, you will need to define or set a personal password. With this personal password, you can log on from anywhere. Okay, now I'll show you another way that you can log on. Type in, in Google, type in Team Viewer Login. Okay, click on Team Viewer Login. Okay, I'm already actually logged on. Let me log off so I can show you from the beginning. So here we have the Team Viewer Management Console. So you can also log on uh, to your other computer or to remote desktop to another computer like your friends uh, through this Management Console. So sign on after you created your account. And then let's say I wanted to connect to my laptop. I simply click Connect, Launch Application. And there you have it. I'm also connected. So there are different ways that you can connect to your other computer. And you have um, the option of installing TeamViewer and doing it that way, or going to TeamViewer login on the website and doing it that way. OK, now I'm going to show you the meetings feature that TeamViewer has. So let's say I want to schedule a meeting with my team members to work on a project. I click on my meetings, new meeting. I'll call the subject team meeting one to discuss the discovery phase of our project. Let's say we decide on these times and dates. Let's just say I leave the password open and I save it. All right, let's close this Outlook since I don't use it. All right, now we have it. So let's say I want to start the meeting. I would click Start. And now my meeting has started. So when my team members join, they'll be able to see what I'm doing on my screen as well as hear me with the voice over IP enabled, as well as making sure that your mic's enabled. Again, they would just need to type in the meeting ID 
and their name, and they'll be able to join the meeting. Well, I hope you enjoyed this presentation on TeamViewer. Again, I use it for school purposes, uh, working with my team, collaborating with them. I find it to be uh, very useful. Um, it's free if you are, again, a commercial, uh, non-commercial user. Uh, check it out, give it a shot, install it, and uh, let me know how it goes. All right, well, thank you for watching.